Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Crack Grade B to the session of management lecture 1, okay? For 2024 RBI Grade B, okay? So, first of all, please tell me am I audible and visible because there was some technical issue in morning 2. Yes, good afternoon, Nathia. Yes, okay, okay. Yes, he hello, hello all of you, good to see you all. Good afternoon, Kartik. Yes. Okay, so today we will start the first two, three lectures on YouTube of paid courses. Okay, this is basically to give you a gist about what we teach in paid courses and what is the quality of the content, okay? So I will start with the introduction to management. As you all know, management is a boring subject, I know, but it is a boring till you cramp it or, or learn it through rote learning. In management, I will teach you through case studies, okay? The case study is very crucial part of the management. Why? First, it comes in RBI exams also, so that you don't feel that the paper is difficult. First aim is that. Second aim is that it will help you in retaining the name of the uh, inventors of the leadership styles or motivation theories uh, writer and all okay okay good afternoon bhavna so this is the aim of including the case study so we will learn here management through mcqs through the content and through the case studies okay yes hello rajat hello Okay, let's start with the lecture. I'm very happy all of you come, came here to see the management first lecture for 2024. Okay. So management, as you can see this guy is managing office, files, money and time. So what is the job of the manager? Manager role is not specific. Okay. A manager is a person in an organization who manages the things on daily basis. He will manage the employees of the organization. He will manage that the whether the employees are motivated or not. Everything is going well in the organization. Okay. Yes. So some pictures for you so that you don't feel bored. Okay. Now what are the sources of the content? See all of my content, especially from the management. I've, I've made the content from reference book from notification of RBI grade B, okay? So my notes basically includes the no, uh, the gist of Stephen P. Robbins and other books that are referred in grade B notification, okay? I brought the best for you. Hello, Sejal, hello. Okay, so as in view of Stephen P. Robbins and Mary Coulter, Management is the process of coordinating activities. The key words are here, coordinating activities so that they are completed efficiently and effectively with and through other people. So basically management is a work in which the efficiency of manager is that to make other people do the work efficiently and effectively without wasting the sources, without wasting the time and staying motivated, okay? Now, what are, this, what are the scope of management? See, first, management is a process. These are the basically component of management. Management is a process, means management is a continuous process. There is no end and start of management management will continually will be followed throughout the organization in various departments and through various managers so as a process management aims at increasing productivity and efficiency in an organization the purpose is to strengthen the client base improve the knowledge skills and capacity of employees to achieve particular target and goals management is also a nerve ending process that brings different teams and individuals together. Everyone works in harmony to achieve common objective. So when through management, 
one objective is attained then second objective comes when second is attained third is third will be in queue so management is a continuous process okay okay vishal i will i will provide once the syllabus will uh, once the syllabus goes in flow i will provide a descriptive also okay yes management as an activity so as an activity management looks at the daily task and accomplishments of an organ of an employee it helps them prioritize activities monitor progress which further helps them grow in their roles it prevents miscommunication and task repetition as everyone is aware of their roles and responsibilities there is clarity and accountability the cornerstones of a business growth and success so as we all know communication is a very crucial part of the organization if we come to the spreading the information so in management activity is also there management as an activity manager will check the employee whether he is doing the particular task or not whether the time whether the work is completed within a limited time or not what is the morale of the employee okay everything will be considered and it will also give clarity and accountability clarity of the what we are going to achieve everybody knows what is their role and responsibility and once the clarity is there it will be easier to attain the set goal third is management as a profession management as a profession has been popularized by courses and academic institutions across the globe several organizations prefer individuals with a master of business administration degree specialized knowledge such as mba degree provides an individual with a competitive edge making them more desirable for managerial roles therefore management has evolved as a body of knowledge that continues to solve various problems of working various working problems workplace okay so management in uh, these today's organization plays a role of a profession also why if you look at the early theories of management they treat the human capital as working machines they think that they will get their money as a reward they will work more they will get good working environment in sanitation and cleanliness they will work more but they will get a job security they will work more but in today's scenario it is not possible just not just incentives like money and reward employee also consider the feelings and the bonds and relationships at work between the work life balance also okay so management as a profession becomes very famous profession why because it is not limited to the employee it is it is it has also the other elements like the other stakeholders the relationship between the supplier and the organization relationship between employee and boss okay so there are various elements in the management as a profession okay now let's look at the nature of management first is universality so management is a universal process and is essential for all organization if there is a human activity there is management the principles of management are applicable irrespective of the size and location of a business the universal principle also means that managerial skills can be developed over time and they are transferable so by universality of the universality of the management management is not limited to a particular organization or a particular industry it is basically saying where the where the people are working in any industry or factory management is prerequisite management will be required in every organization and every place where people are working okay second is social process management is a social process why because it is not just looking the looking at employees at a work, as a working machine but they will also provide the guidance they will also look at the feelings and bonds uh, at the workplace the relationship between employee and boss relationship between manager and employee relationship of an employee with another employee and what is the overall culture of the organization that's why it is a social process also next is purposeful management always has an end goal of achieving an organization's target mission and vision 
The success of management can be measured by the extent to which an organization achieves its objectives. There is an underlying purpose of increasing efficiency and productivity and the objectives should be realistic, attainable and time bound. So management is purposeful. Why? Because management is done to attain a specific target. Management is a continuous process and this process will go on till a particular target is achieved, a particular set of goals is attained by the organization and employees of the organization. Okay, So it is a time bound, realistic and attainable. Management is intangible. There is no physical proof of the management process. Its success can be measured by the outcomes of its efforts. Let's look at the example. Lower turnover rates indicate there is a high employee engagement and job satisfaction. This further shows that managers or individuals in managerial roles have taken proactive steps towards improving employee retention. So suppose there is an organization XYZ okay, and in that organization the employee loves to go to the office daily and there is another organization ABC where the employees do not feel motivated to go to the office. So what can be said about the management process like in XYZ the management is working because employ employees are feeling motivated to go to the organization and work efficiently and effectively whereas in organization ABC workers are not feeling motivated to go to the organization and do work. So there is basically lack of managerial skills of the manager in the second organization right any doubt till now. Hmm. No, okay. So let's continue without wasting time. Coordination. Management coordinates all the functions of an organization by bringing together different teams and departments. Without coordination, there would be ambiguity and chaos. Therefore, by getting people on the same page, there is a communication and minimized duplication of efforts. As we have seen in the management earlier also, if you have studied management, first thing that manager needs to do is that there should be minimal wastage of resources. If a task is repeating itself, there is wastage of efforts. What, we, what he should focus on? Minimize duplication of efforts. Okay. So in coordination, manage, manager will try to coordinate between different departments. Okay. Suppose let's take an example. There is an organization ABC in which there are two departments one in one is finance and other is marketing. So the top head of the ABC have observed that there is reduction in sales and sales are going down. So he asked the employees of the organize, organization, especially of marketing department, that please come out with the strategies or marketing ideas that will increase the sale of the organization. So marketing department tried its best, tried its best, and they come up with few solutions. Okay. Now, with this solution, there is an increase in the cost. What is the cost that they, whatever ideas they have given, it will increase the cost of the company. And what is the purpose of finance department that it was focusing on reducing the cost. So finance departments focusing on reducing the cost in entire organization and marketing department was just focusing on the sales. So they came up with the ideas that will require more, more budget. They want more budget so that sales can be improved. But the finance department was not aware of the objective of the marketing department. But they want to reduce the cost of the organization. So there is ambiguity and chaos that what need to be followed between the marketing department and finance department. So it should be cleared by the manager or the top man or the top head of the organization that how 
or what idea should work so that both the objectives can be achieved or which objective should be given the priority okay good afternoon dark rose okay this example is clear to everyone how ambiguity and chaos can happen in an organization and result in decreased efficiency right next is creativity management is made up of individual component and is a composite process every independent component contributes in unique ways for example group efforts encourage creative ideas and imagination the sum of individual efforts creates synergy and something new is born so what management is doing management is making individual component coming together make a bond and with their synergy creativity will take place suppose a suppose employee a has an idea but there are some flaws in that idea so employee b will help the organization in overcoming the flaws in the ideas of the a how this is happening when there is a coordination and there is a bond between the employees in an organization okay okay so therefore when there is a bond when there is a coordination and collaboration between the employees they are working as a team together for the organization it will create synergy and with synergy creative ideas will come up okay dynamic function management should be dynamic as its core because business are often influenced by economic social political and technological factors with room for flexibility and adaptability individuals can perform well even in stressful situations there should be adequate training and facilitation within the process so what management does management obviously is a dynamic function how it is dynamic because management see this is management okay now there are external factors in the organization like political environment green environment or some other factors like suppliers technology so no more management is a process that is within the organization any process any factor that is external is affecting the management therefore management is a dynamic function for example in an organization say organization organization alpha limited let's take okay in this organization this organization is manufacturing mobiles okay so due to some external technology that uh, was some that was of some other country the sales of this alpha limited has gone down because they are manufacturing the mobiles in their own country okay they were manufacturing indigenous product but due to this outer technology from another country their sales has gone down so this is a stressful time for the organization and who came up in the stressful situation the manager 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 here needs to keep motivating their employees so that they focus more on creative ideas that how they can beat this outer technology or what they can improve their indigenous technology so management has asked to give some extra hours to the organization so that they can focus more on creating new technologies and beat this outer technology so manager here will motivate the employees to give their extra hours to the organization so that they can deal with this dynamic situation which is required by the employees to give extra hours so manager should be dynamic he should know how to tackle the situation how to keep a balance between the top managers and the employees or the factory level workers and how they can reward their employees and keep a communication and bond within the organization okay yes everything is clear till now any doubt
ओके नेक्स्ट इज द स्कोप ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्कोप ऑफ मैनेजमेंट मीन्स वॉट आर द डायनामिक्स ऑफ द मैनेजमेंट हाउ फार इट कैन गो वॉट टू वॉट फैक्टर्स दे कैन अफेक्ट वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द मैनेजमेंट सो डिस्कसिंग द स्कोप फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एवरी एंटरप्राइज प्रायोरटाइज द फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज फाइनेंस कैन गेट एक्सट्रीमली ट्रिकी इफ नॉट मैनेज प्रॉपरली एफेक्टिव मैनेजमेंट effective financial management ensures there are fair returns to the stakeholders proper estimation of capital requirements and laying down optimal capital it includes preparation and examination of financial statements creating proper dividend policies and negotiate negotiations with external stakeholders so management includes financial management also if a company is not managing its finance optimally and reducing the wastage of resources of its capital then it can bring trouble to the organization for example if an organization is taking more and more debt without looking at the equity or without looking at the assets to pay back its liabilities then it can create a bad situation it can create the organization in a bad situation so financial management is very important part of the business next is marketing management the scope of management in marketing extends to planning organizing directing controlling activities in the marketing department identifying customer requirements is crucial for providing business solution when a manager is fully aware of the benefits of the products or services the organization provides they achieve better results marketing management ensures that available resources are properly utilized and the best possible outcomes are achieved so marketing management says that a manager should look at the capabilities of the employees and look at the demands of the customers that what they are expecting what quality they are expecting of products and he should ensure that the resources are optimally utilized so that the desired outcome can be met a desired quality of product can be supplied to the customers okay this is what we call marketing management if there is any gap between the quality of the product it will be because the manager is unable to estimate the demands of the customers about the quality okay sage scope means that in which areas management is required like in finance management is required in marketing management is required okay we are as uh, we are taking the scope okay in personal management like in what areas management can be required that is the scope of the management okay yes personal management personal management means as the as the name suggest deals with the personal or individuals in in business environment this is simple personal management means managing the employees of the organization managing the relations of an employee to another employee of employee to the top top leaders of the organization and of the employee with their managers okay so without attending to employee needs and wants an organization is likely to struggle obviously if a company is not catering the needs of the employee they cannot work in an organization like where their needs are not be taken care of or they are not considered okay next is now management is also required in production and office management is there now how management is required in production see this type of management refers to the process of creating utilities when you convert a raw material to finished products and oversee the planning and regulations you are engaging in a production management for example the manager needs to know that if they want to if the demand is of 100 units of some product then they should produce 100 units of product how they will produce it who will who will be the supplier who will be the uh, what will be the chain what will be the marketing strategy and how they will contact the wholesaler what are the raw materials required for the production what will be the cost that is all covered under production management okay and the final product must fulfill customer requirements okay the process includes quality control also research and development plan layout and simplification 
office management. This includes controlling and coordinating of office activities to achieve an organization goals and targets. For example, an administration's efficiency impacts a business significantly. How? The more organized the departments and responsibilities are, the more effective an organization is. For example, if you go to a if you go to a government bank, okay, as I have observed, maybe you have also observed that activities are not organized. If you'll go to the one counter, they will say, go to that counter. This is not done here. Or they will say that go to that counter. So activities are not organized. This is what we call office mismanagement. Everybody should know in the office that this is my role. This is my responsibility. I have to do this particular task. So managing the activities in that organization with effectiveness and efficiency is what we call office management. Okay. Clear till now? Any doubt? Hmm. Please do tell if I'm going slow or too fast, okay? And if or if you are finding any difficulty with my pace, do let me know, okay? I'll consider your request. Okay, yes, please do tell me if you find anything that I'm going too fast or slow. Okay, now as I have told you, if you study the management like this with content, 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 it will make you feel bored. Okay. You should also know that where to apply that content. Okay. So it's time to do a case study. This is the first one. Okay. This one. I'll not show you the second because there is very less gap. You will read the second one also. Okay. So this is the case study. A small case that Mr. Nitin Singhania's father has a good business of iron and steel. He wants to go to USA for his MBA, but his father thinks that he should join the business. On the basis of emerging trends, do you think that Mr. Singhania should send his son to USA? Give any three reasons in support of your answer. You can quickly tell me in the comment box that uh, why he should send or should not send the should not send his son to the USA, he should send yes. Okay, yes, then why? Why he should send him to the USA? Yes, everybody too, please do participate. You'll feel good, else you'll see bored while sitting and watching only. Yes, do learn more tech system. Mm. Okay, see Mr. Singhania should uh, send his son to the USA because as I've already told you that management is not limited to a particular area these days. Management is also doing great as a profession among individuals. Okay, so Nitin Singhania's son should go to USA. He should send his son to USA to learn more strategies and to know the leadership styles and what leadership style and motivation should work with the employees of their organization which will help them in maintaining a balance between the employees morale and organization's profit okay yes good next next case study a little one this one in order to achieve target production of 50,000 units per month, the production manager of Action Shoes Limited had to operate on double shifts. The workers are paid overtime charges. To earn higher wages, workers try to go slow during normal working hours and complete their targets during overtime hours. Though the manager could achieve his target and produced 500, produced 500 units, but a higher production cost. Okay. So first you need to tell that in your point of view, what is lacking in management? And second question is that 
identify the values missing in the production manager as well as the employees of the organization. You can read the case again if you want. Are you finding management boring or I'm successful in making in management something somewhat interesting? <laughs> hmm. Lagging in finance management. See why I have included a case study because RBI gives you question in the form of case studies too. And that time you have uh, you will not find the case studies in any content or books. Okay, so I have uh, made this case study for you so that you can identify the correct answer and you will not end up in making mistakes in the examination. okay see first of all it is saying that in your point of view what is lacking in management i have given answers to here okay see in management there efficiency is lacking okay there is lack of efficiency why because while uh, employees are working during the daytime during the normal working hours of the organization they are not feeling motivated enough that they will produce this much unit and they will go home. They are uh, rather they are staying there and working over time so that they get extra wages. Now what they what it uh, what it can be concluded that they are not motivated. Efficiency is not there. There is lack of uh, there is over utilization or there is under utilization of resources. Optimum utilization of scarce resources is not there. Sincerity is not there and leadership. Obviously, the manager knows that he is producing 5000 units, but at a cost which is higher. So he never tried to examine that what is going wrong in the organization and why employees are doing so if they are doing so, what he can do to motivate them or give them reward for normal working hours production. Okay. Now what are what values are missing in employees? In employees, sincerity, responsibility towards achieving the target and self-motivation and loyalty. These ethical values are missing in the employees. If they are finding that their wages are less, they should show some loyalty and they should contact the manager that they want some more wages or these, uh, these much wages are not enough for them. They are not feeling motivated to do the work. Sit and uh, sit with the manager and talk the issues that they are facing, okay? So loyalty, sincerity and responsibility is missing on the part of employees of the organization, okay? Sejal, you got the case now properly. It is not about financial management. It is about that the employees of the organization are misusing the overtime wages, okay? And why they are misusing the overtime wages? It is not about the financial cost. It is about what they are feeling in their mind, what they, what issues they are facing financially with themselves either their wages are low or external factors are affecting them or working conditions are not like that why they don't feel motivated to work at those working hours okay yes yes okay now what do managers do first management involves coordinating overseeing the work activities of others that their activities are completed efficiently and effectively we already know that coordinating and overseeing the work of others is what distinguishes a managerial position from a non-managerial one however this doesn't mean that managers can do whatever they want anytime anywhere or in any way 
Instead, management involves ensuring that work activities are completed efficiently and effectively by the people responsible for doing them, or at least what, or, or at least what that, uh, that's what managers aspire to do. So, management involves coordinating and involving the employees of the organization positively, efficiently, and effectively to do a particular task. Okay. Now, what is the managerial role? that they cannot do anything anytime they cannot uh, direct an employee to okay do this work now in the other hour please do this work or that work his only responsibility is to see that whether they are doing efficiently and effectively the task that has been already provided to them okay just like supervising and motivating them manager cannot misuse his authority okay over the employees Second is efficiency. Efficiency refers to getting the most output from the least amount of input. Because managers deal with the scarce inputs, including resources such as people, money, equipment, they are not concerned with the efficient use of those resources. It's often referred to as doing things right, that is not wasting resources. So efficiency should be there, manager should, should take care of the efficiency that is followed in the organization that means that resources should be used optimally if they are scarce and even if they are not scarce they are using to the maximum utilization possible and this will give the efficiency to the organization with reduced cost high morale of the employees okay it is not just about doing the right things it is also not wasting the resources effectiveness is often described as doing the right things that is doing the work activities that will help organization reach its goals for instance at the horn factory goals included meeting customers rigorous demands goal is that meeting customers rigorous demand and executing world class manufacturing strategies and making employee jobs easier and safer through various work initiatives, these goals were pursued and achieved, whereas efficiency is concerned with the means of getting things done, effectiveness is concerned with the ends or attainment of the organizational goals. So what they are saying that in Horn Factory, the goal is to cater the need of the customers okay, and executing world class manufacturing strategies and but they are also focusing on the employees. So what is effectiveness means? Effectiveness means that it is concerned with the ends or attainment of organization goals. Efficiency is concerned with the means of getting things done. So what, who are the means here? Employees are the means here to get things done and the end result is meeting customers demand. So managers should balance both effectiveness and efficiency so that the goals of the organizations are met. Okay. See, a manager should always focus on management strives for low resources waste that is high efficiency and high goal attainment, okay? High efficiency and high effectiveness. Low waste, high attainment. Yes, clear till now? Any doubt till here? Okay, what about others? Only two people answered. Please do ask your doubts, okay? Don't feel hesitated. When you'll ask your doubts, only then you'll get the clarity of the concepts, okay? Management functions, planning. Manager set goals, he plans that how things should be done what things should be achieved by the organization so planning is the function of management very simple next is organizing 
when managers organize they determine what tasks are to be done who is to do them basically once the manager identify that this is the goal of the organization and these things are to be done then organizing in organizing he will identify the skills required to do those tasks and he will assign those particular tasks which is required to be done to particular employees based on their skills that is what we call organizing okay leading function when managers motivate subordinates help resolve work group conflicts influence individuals or teams as they work select the most effective communication channel or deal in any way with employee behavior issues they are leading leading function involves the focus on employee more that what issues he is facing whether he is facing some difficulties at home due to which he is unable to perform well at the workplace so managerial role is also a leadership role okay he will motivate the employees he will make them their, he will get them uh, get their issues resolved whether it, whether it is related to some emotional uh, emotional conflict at home or at office or some other issues related with the employee okay this is the function of leading controlling the final management function is controlling after goals and plans are set that is planning task and structured arrangement put in place that is organizing and people hired trained and motivated leading there has to be some evaluation of whether things are going as planned so manager will also take care of what things are going on and what are the predetermined standards and whether the actual things that are being assigned to these employees are going as per the actual standards and what is the gap between the two and control the what are what things are going wrong so that they can achieve the desired target at the predetermined time okay so planning organizing leading and controlling setting goals establishing strategies and developing plans to coordinate this is planning determining what needs to be done how it will be done and who is to do it leading is motivating leading and any other actions involved in dealing with people controlling is monitoring activities to ensure that they are accomplished as planned so this all together will lead to achieving the organization's stated purposes what is the set targets of the organization when combining all the efforts of the management and the employees it will lead to attainment of the goals okay yes everything is clear okay this is the last topic we'll discuss today what are why managers are important so see management is a kind of a function in which there is no set age there is no set qualification that is required any person can manage but due to the dynamic environment of the external factors and internal factors of the organization management becomes a profession okay if you look at the early stages of management irrespective of age managers can run large corporations as well as entrepreneurial startups they are found in government departments hospitals small business not for profit organizations museums schools and even such non traditional organizations as political campaigns so basically it is saying that management or manager is a person who is available at all the organization whether startup or whether a big giant whether government or non government whether a ngo or a political campaign the requirement of manager is everywhere irrespective of the age okay reasons why managers are important they play a key role in decision making they facilitate work they set goals they hire and train new employees coach and develop teammates responsible for team performance help prioritize task motivate through mentorship are key communicators set the workplace in flow so as you can see what are the role of the manager so they are basically playing a crucial role in the organization 
in every aspect whether hiring the employees whether attaining goals whether motivating the employees or whether achieving a set targets okay in every field manager is required in an organization so in simple terms see this is a line there is no i in management there is only v so the the primary role of manager is to convert this i in v how he should converge the goals of individual employees of the organization align with the organization goals okay so he will convert all the i into v as a team it will boost the team's morale and it will work towards the organizational goals taking care of the employees morale okay so managers are important to organizations for three reasons first is organizations need their managerial skills and abilities in uncertain complex chaotic times so suppose uh, there is uh, some strike going on in a in an factory in any factory and workers are participating in that strike and they are they have decided that we will not work so here managers seems the situation as uncertain and chaotic so he will come into place and he will play a crucial connection between the top leaders of the organization and workers he will manage he will uh, balance the both and there will be some conversation between the two only only then the strike can be ended because the role of manager is very crucial here so he should know the strategies how such difficult situations can be handled okay and second is managers are critical to getting things done in organizations obviously as we have already discussed and finally managers contribute to employee productivity and loyalty the way of employees are managed can affect the organization's financial performance and managerial ability has been shown to important in creating organization value obviously if an if an organization is not taking care of the needs of the employees suppose the work the employees are doing they are getting only 15000 if we talk about workers monthly which is below the daily wages as per the government rules so my employees are doing work of 20000 daily so there is a gap of 5000 this gap managers or or top leaders may seem as a profit to their organization but in long term this gap will convert into demotivated employees and it will then get a spillover effect while the de uh, while decreasing productivity decreasing the morale of the employees and employees will leave the organization eventually and there will be no production in the organization so employees are very important assets of the organization and taking care of them is very important that is what written here okay yes sir everything is clear till now okay manager is not holding the steering wheel manager is the caretaker of the organization because he cannot command okay he cannot move with his own will to the right or to the left or he can move on the command of somebody else he is there to maintain a balance act as a catalyst act as a communication agent between the low level workers and high level workers okay okay so i wind up here this is the first lecture of the management we will take two more lectures free on youtube if you like the content if you like the teaching style and if you find some connection with the teacher also then you can subscribe to the course okay for rbi grade b 2024 all right yes okay take care and do come for the session tomorrow also at the same time okay guys okay thank you sejal thank you thank you
yes so you will get the pdf of management okay once the topic is uh, over then we will provide you the pdf okay okay thank you